this week we are back on a private lake near Medicine Hat, Alberta. Brent Schlenker of Cypress Fly Fishing has brought us into one of his many trophy lakes, and we thought this would be the perfect place to hold the Series 8 three fish competition. We invited Don's brother Dale along to join us in the competition, and with a little luck and the right strategy, anyone could win. The Series 8 three fish competition, that's today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Hi everyone, and welcome to Sport Fishing on the Fly. Well, today, a new treat. The boys, again, want the competition. We had a competition up in Northwest Territories for pike. Great little competition, but I got pounded. So these guys want to take me out and punish me again. Well, you know, we got a little bit of a competitive nature, all three of us. <laughs> and a lot of people said they really enjoyed our show up at Trout Rock Lodge in the Northwest Territories, fishing for pike. Yeah. So we thought we'd do it again because we got a really good opportunity again because we got a chance for some big rainbows today. Exactly. And of course, Dale's come along, the mute guy that catches all the big <laughs> fish. So we'll see how, see how he turns out, how it works out. And uh, actually, we're on the private lake today. Yeah, in Cypress Hills and near Medicine Hat in Alberta. Yeah. It's just a gorgeous place to be. So we expect some big fish. Rumor has it that they've actually taken 30 inch fish out of here. Wow. Although I don't think we're going to catch anything that big today. Well, you never know. So well, it's going to win. 20 inches is, is more than norm. Yeah, so what's your guys' strategy? Well, How many strategy. I'm just, I'm just going to try to catch fish. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's my strategy. In the middle here. <laughs> I'll do some crowd and I'll do some down and dirty leech, you know, the, the same old stuff, just trying to catch some fish. Well, I got the halfback, our fly of the year a couple years ago. We kind of yeah. forgot about it for a while, so I'm going to start with that. How right about on. you, Dale? I might try the woolly bugger. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. The woolly bugger. Oh, Big yeah, let's fly. get rigged up and get rolling right in the competition. On. Three fish, you get to. You don't keep them, but you count three yeah. fish. You got to measure it by length. By length, then you have to decide before you release it whether you're going to have that as one of your three or not. Right. That's how the competition works. You know what? In the competition, whenever you're in a major competition like this, I think me and Grant were talking earlier, it's going to take 70 plus inches, I think, to win this. And you know, there's a lot of 24, 25 inch fish out here. This guy, oh, he's still one heck of a fish. He finally figured he got hooked, but I don't know, I'll have to bring him in for the, for the measurement and see, see if he's worth keeping. Hook out there, or his hook. This guy is, try to bring him up here. He is, that's the tail, he's about 19 inches. I don't think, it's going to be big enough for, for the measuring, so I will let him go. There he is there. Give everybody a good look at him. There he is there. Beautiful little fish. Nice size to him, nice and healthy. Boy, oh boy. And they are full of life. And again, revive the fish real good till he wants to go, and he wants to go. There he goes. Oh man, talk about powerful fish. Wait, am I backing again? Second time, Dale's on too. We got the double heavy gold, but I don't think he's going to count the one he's got on. But I think this could be the first fish of the competition. I, to I right think here. you're right. Oh, pull this guy back in a bit. Well, when I saw him skying around, he looked like he was going to, he was big. Well, you know, we, we talked about strategy. What kind of strategy? We got to figure what's the kind of the average size you're going to get. And we get out here, we fish for 20 minutes, half an hour. Nobody really hooked up. We had some bumps. So we start to second guess your strategy as to ah, maybe 60 inches is going to be enough. Maybe you get three 20 inch fish would be good. Oh, nice fish. There's one. <laughs> What do you got? The ears doesn't look too bad, too. You know, the thing is, what we're doing here is it's by length. It's not by weight, because if it was by weight, <laughs> mine weighs about three times that of yours, I think. Yeah, but mine might be a long, skinny one. Could be. That's all you need. Uh, probably 19, 19 incher. 19 yeah, you know what? This guy's probably closer to 19 pounds, but he's probably about 19 inches, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> he's a toad. 
He's been eating a lot, that, that boy. He's only 18 inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute here. I need something to measure with. Oh, no, he's 20. Oh, yeah, at least. Well, there's, that's 20. Is that 20? Okay, always a 20 inches. Okay, he's well. 20. I'm in. 20 one inches. Inch, yeah, 10 20. pounds. Oh, oh. Okay, get this guy revived up here. Thank you. Come here, you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what a toad. Oh, big fish. Yeah. Hi everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, this week I'm going to tie you up the green halfback. You know, this pattern was our fly of the year four years ago and it's certainly worth showing everybody again. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're gonna use a size eight, three X long streamer. We'll tie with some eight aught olive thread. We'll use some .02 lead wire for the weight, some olive goose bites for the tail. For the body, we use some peacock curl, a soft green saddle hackle for the hackle. For the wing case, some green pheasant tail and some more peacock curl for the thorax. To start the fly off, I've taken two of my green goose bites and I've split them and separated them. What I'm gonna do is put them on the back for the tail and I'm gonna measure up so they're about, about a quarter of an inch long and tie them in for the tail. Now to add some weight to the fly, I've got my thread at the back of the hook. I'm gonna take some of my .02 lead wrap and just wrap about a half length of the hook of lead wrap onto the hook for the weight. I've taken four peacock curls and I'm going to tie them in at the butt of the hook. Just tie them in good and then what we're going to do is take them and wrap them forward about halfway up the hook just to form a nice back body section on the hook. Now I've taken about 15 strands of my green pheasant and we're just going to tie it in just at the head end of the fly, and this will be our wing case after we tie in the peacock curl for the thorax. Now I've taken a nice soft green saddle hackle, and we're going to tie it in by the tip and wrap it in, and this will be our hackle after we tie in the thorax. Next we take four more strands of peacock curl, and we're going to tie it in. And once we've got them tied in, we're going to actually wrap them around and form a nice thorax on the fly. I'm going to take some hackle pliers and put them on my hackle and just start wrapping it forward and you want about five to six turns of hackle on this fly in the thorax just to build up a nice leg structure and then tie off at the head. With a large set of scissors I'm now going to put them right across the top of the fly and just cut off all the hackles right on the top of the fly, all the barbs. And that just leaves the top nice and flat. For the final step in the fly, I'm going to take my pheasant tail that I've had over the, off the back and I'm going to pull it forward over to form a nice wing case on the fly and tie off at the eyelid. And there it is, the finished green halfback. You know, I haven't used this pattern much in the past four years, but it is still one of my favorite lake patterns. And I think I'm going to start using it a little bit more. We had the spotter, <laughs> Dale spotted a fish and well. The major pose. <laughs> this is the competition. Don was way over there, anchored. <laughs> we see this big fish rise over by shore here. Don up anchors, I row in. And you got him. I plugged up with the halfback. <laughs> Granny poaches everybody out with the halfback. Yeah. The halfback's working good. This is a 20 inches though, you know, it's no. tough. Tough to know what to do. It's so hard. Oh. <laughs> Dale feels bad for me because that was his fish. <laughs> well, you know what I was thinking? I didn't know if I was going to keep him anyway or not because in at 20 inches, we're thinking got to be way above 60. So 
Next fish I keep's got to be over 20, I think. And I don't know that that guy was. He was probably 19. He might have been 20. But we'll never know. We're all talking about our own strategies, and Greg's having some pretty good luck with that halfback. Halfback strategy, what do you got, that Aqualux line on? Aqualux line, Aqualux yeah. Aqualux line, great little line. I'm going to change it up. No one's got the big kahunas to try the, uh, the chronomids, well, I'm going to try it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to see how it works. Well, there's lots of chronomids coming off. It's just that they're sized about 20 and 22. Exactly. But you don't know, the fish aren't really keen on anything right now, and I thought it might as well be a good strategy for at least a half an hour yep. to give it a try. I mean, we're still three hours left from the competition. we got lots of time. It's yeah. early. Here, I thought you were out fishing the dead water out there. <laughs> he made the mistake last time of telling us that he heard a fish. Oh, oh there's one. <laughs> so we all converged on him. And you nailed me on yeah, it, too. Yeah, I did. This time you must have heard one up there and you didn't tell anybody. <laughs> I went off on my own. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one's over 20 inches, I'm sure, so. I'm going, this is going to be a counter if I can get him in. Okay, well, I got to be here to verify this, of course. Oh, I think he's... Oh, yeah, he looks nice. Okay, so what's that? Just over? So 21, would it be? What? That's how long mine was. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just over that. I don't know, we need uh, an official measure here. <laughs> Yeah, now he looks okay, like 19. We'll call it, we'll call it 20. Oh, no, I'll like it. I'll give him 20. We'll g oh, <laughs> and a little nub. Okay, 20 we'll call, and a quarter. We'll call it 20. <laughs> I'll take him. Okay, the keeper. For 20. <laughs> Contrary, we don't have the good measuring things, of course, here. Now, if that had been as girthy as mine, then I would have given you 21. Oh, and he's big. I think he's got to be 20. Oh, and I'm kicking myself for not keeping that, that 19 now early, you know? Well, I'm gonna call Brent over for, for verification since he's the nearest fisherman. That's the trouble with shooting these competitions. Everybody seems to fan out and go wherever they think they can get the biggest fish. And I think this guy is pretty good sized fish. Oh, you know he is. Oh, wow. Oh man, he's right under you. He's right under my boat here. Yeah, I he is. got my anchor up. I hope I ain't hurt you. You got the anchor up? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Oh, oh. the oh, anchor I... isn't up. Is it? Let him run out of there. Oh no. Get... Oh, I don't know. No, nope. still going. Is he out there? He's under you still. Oh, he's in your fins now. No, I'll get him out of there. Don't worry about that. Oh no. Oh, my capture. Oh, no. <laughs> Just hang on here. <laughs> oh, and he snapped me off. You snapped? <laughs> oh, you Girl, know what? My face red. Now, you know what? There's my luck. Whenever I get in a competition, I get a big slab like that. It's probably going to put me in big contention. And what happens? We get snapped off. Oh, well, I, hey, that happens. That's all part of the competition. <laughs> they'll be all be. Granny, you're just rolling out there. Well, now I oh. suppose if I went over there and helped Dell successfully land one, you'll be upset with me. <laughs> yeah, well, Sorry that's, about that, Hey, but... that's the way it goes. He headed for your boat and he went under. Nothing we can do about it. But I'm going to put on a new pattern. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Almost lost him in the fins. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been too bad? Would have been too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Don, yeah, that, with his luck. That was too funny. Oh, that's going to definitely... Oh, that might be the winner there. That could be a yeah. measuring fish. Oh, yeah. I lost. I'll yeah. declare... Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I had... Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> oh, could, could have been a, could have been a major controversy. He <laughs> controversy, was in, nothing. He it was, wasn't measuring. He was in the net. There was no controversy. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, he's over twenty. Oh yeah, for sure. So there's to the twenty. So what is that? Twenty-one. Uh, twenty-one yeah. with a bend. Twenty-one. Twenty-one or twenty-two? Twenty-one. You 21. give me twenty-one. Okay. Wow. So that's two fish for forty-one inches for you. One fish for twenty inches for me. And Don's had the bad luck. <laughs> All right. Boy, I've had some bad luck today, but. This one here, hopefully I'm going to get him in and get to see him. I see Grant's coming in for the 
official measure. Oh, boy. Come on, get in there. Oh, gee. There. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a good one. That's a nice fish. Fly out of there. Yep. You got on there. Ah. Little baby leech. Ah, you did tell me. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't want to lose my rod, though. No, that's, I wouldn't put it in there first. Okay. Wow, that looks like similar to the first one I caught. Yeah, just very whoa. girthy. Very, very fat, but not much length. Let's see. Measure them up to oh. right to there. Ah, what does it say? There's 18 there. 19, 19 yeah. and a bit. Yeah. Well, you know what? I got to take this 19. Well, I guess so, yeah. Gee whiz, and I had the 19 first. And you know what it's going to come down to is the first person to catch it. Oh, gee, and he's gone thing. right away. Darn. Well, at least I got a counter. He, he's in the competition. In. While the things are heating up, we got about an hour left to go. Oh, I know. Bill's counted two. He's got 41 inches. You and I thought we were 19 and 20, all about the same. It's going to come down to whoever gets lucky in the last hour and catches him. And, that, and that's what happened with my last one. You know, I didn't take the 19. You had one right to your net yeah, that off. got off. Uh, we've had numerous problems like that, but hey, that's all part of it, isn't it? Competition. That's yeah. what makes it, it enjoyable. Smooth, yeah. Well, you know what? I, I wish you good luck out there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back with the end of the competition. Whoa. The official thing. Boy, nice fish. Another nice rainbow. I think they're coming on here. It's getting real late. In the oh, in the competition, oh man, he's just flying all over the place. He is not happy. Oh. Well, I don't know how big he is, but whatever he is, I'm keeping him. I'm measuring him. He's looking like another 19 to me. And what's Dale at right now? Dale's at 41 right now. 41. Yeah. So I can get to 38 probably with this fish. Oh, oh, he's a little bigger. Oh, he's bigger. Oh, he's definitely bigger. Heavier for sure. Oh, man. Let's get the fly out. Clear him. Okay, Granny. Oh, look at how fat he is. <laughs> oh, like the first one I had. First one I had, I had to weigh eight pounds. Oh, cow. Okay. Oh, that's long, too. There's on the, there's on the one. How far off is it? That's about right at the very end of that. That's 20 inches right to the very 20 end. inches right yeah. to the end. Oh, well, that's what he is. 20 incher. 20 incher. Right on. Oh, but weighing some pounds. I'm going to hold this guy up for yeah. everybody if I can. Good luck. And oh, look at the size of him. I can't even get him. No. There he is. Right on. Look at that fish. <laughs> that is one big fish. 20 inches, eh? Ho, <laughs> Yeah, continues. Well, I gotta go catch a fish. Well, you know what? There he goes. And that's a counter. So I'm at uh, 39. 39. And Dale's at 41. Yep. And you're at 20. 20. Woohoo! Next fish could be big. <laughs> this is the winner right here. Well, that's because it's three fish. Three, three fish. Well, fish. I didn't take that 19 to start, but this has got to be over. And 20. you know the time? Right now, 8:26. So pretty well done deal. A nice silver. Holy cow. But you know, it's been a lot of fun. And it's, I guess what we wanted to show more than anything today is what we did last time is that fly fishing can be a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and that's what it should be. You know, go out and enjoy the sport. Enjoy being out with friends and whatnot. That's what fishing's all about. That, well, that's that's the whole idea. At least that's what it is for us. That's oh, for sure. Enjoy ourselves. You betcha. And beating you guys is just adds to the play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, he's oh, in. Oh, Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that beauty? Yep, gorgeous fish. Oh, hold that yep. for me, Granny. Yeah. I'll get the official measure just for you guys. <laughs> oh, he's over 20. Oh. He's starting at three inches, I think. <laughs> we'll just call him 20. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll call him 20. We'll sure. call him 20. Oh, and that's a nice silver, too. Yeah. Beauty. Oh, just put him in there. Very nice. Right on. Good job. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks, Granny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, who won up in Northwest Territories? Oh, yeah. With Yeah, see, Grant wins there. Yeah. Dale wins here. They just keep beating me up. <laughs> they just beat me up.
Oh, well. But hey, I do all right when we go fishing. And I don't mind. I, somebody's got to be the duck, you know? They call me the duck. Water just flows right up. <laughs> well, the next series of shows, we'll find another opportune place to have another yeah. competition because yeah. it's a lot of fun. Something you want to think about when you're out having fun fly fishing because yeah, you saw the fun that we had today. Yeah. When you do, though, make sure you take care. And conserve the waters. Get great fishing like this one here. And really want to thank Brent for bringing us out here because oh. it was pretty special. Excellent place. Yeah, Trophy fantastic. Trophy rainbows. Trophy rainbows. See you next time. Well, we take you sport fishing on the fly. Thanks, Dale. You're welcome. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anytime, boys, anytime. <laughs>